Joel, meet me at Dublin Hotel right now. You killed your husband because he fooled you. You also made a plan to kill Steve, Juliet's cousin, because we told you we found his fingerprints at the crime scene. What? I I did not murder Steve. I did. I know. my wife. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> Juliet is dead. What? <laughs> what? Oh, ma ma madam, 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 please, you cannot go in there. My officers are there, they are working on this. What do you mean? We're talking about my daughter here. Who oh, contaminated the crime scene. I'm sorry, but I have to... Madam,
No. Go on. Take a look. That's all I need. And you're not supposed to leave this room. This is a man's wallet and a man's shoe. You know what? You take this into evidence to the office. I believe this is your shoe and your wallet, Mr. Benson. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what these items were doing in your daughter's bedroom? Your yeah, sir, those items are my... Uh, I don't know how it got in there. Did you kill your daughter, Mr. Benson? No, sir. I did not kill my daughter. What time did you return home last night? I don't remember. I was drunk last night. And I hardly remember anything. You were drunk. Yes, sir. Simply means it's possible you killed your daughter and you cannot remember. No, sir. It's not possible. Can I have your phone, please? How many people live in this house? Oh, sir, me, or my wife, and um, Nancy, she's our house pet. Um, where is John? And who is John? I've not seen him this morning. Where is his room? I, I will show you his room, sir. You were drunk again last night. Why? Is it because I was not around? What do you think? See, is that what I think? Listen and listen, do good. If it happens to be that you killed our daughter. I swear to God, I'm going to strangle you before the police takes you to jail. I don't understand. What if I manage you? I don't understand. What is wrong with you? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're the gate man, right? Yes, sir. Someone entered the house that you got, murdered Juliet and left without you noticing. What kind of a man are you? Simply means you don't know your job. John also left this house and you didn't notice. What time did your boss return last night? I don't know, sir. Maybe he came in when I was sleeping. Maybe he came in when you were sleeping. Or maybe you murdered Juliet, so you know what happened to her. No, sir. I didn't kill her. I don't know anything about her, but... But what? When I woke up last night, I saw someone leaving the compound. It didn't look like Stephen. I'm sure it was him. And who is Steven? He's Juliet's cousin. He's a bad boy. Bad boy? What do you mean he's a bad boy? He used to connect girls to men. 
I mean, he's a pimp. Yes, that's, that's the word I was looking for. I see. Mr. Benson? Yes, sir. I need to speak to Juliet's cousin. You mean Steve? Yes, Steve. Alright, now I'm asking you to call him. Check it out. Questions arising. Hello, Mr. Danga. Yeah, long time no see. <laughs> I'm fine, boss. Look. What can I do for you? I know anytime you call me like this, there's some always something. Right, right. Look, I have the perfect candidate. Oh, right, I'll just, uh, yeah. Yeah, let me just make a few calls and I'll get back to you ASAP. All right, boss. Mr. Danga. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sharp, sharp. In different directions, so many suspects. Yeah, so who is the murderer? Yeah, yeah. so many suspects. Who I, is the culprit? Who is the killer? I, so many suspects. Oh, Are you joking? Yes. The hair on the fingertips of Juliet belongs to Mr. Benson and the blood too. And there were fingerprints scattered all over the sink. That belongs to Stephen, Juliet's cousin. Father, cousin, what will her father and her cousin be doing in the same room at the same time? Well, that's for the reason. I'm feeling good, baby. Mm -hmm. Hey, Steve, what's up? Uh, really? So, where are you guys now? Okay, okay, okay. But hope she's full option. You know my spec. Huh? Alright, alright. So, you guys should come inside me. Uh, see if that one has more thing now, me transfer. Alright? Don't worry, just deliver our me transfer. Um, so you know my room, you know my room now? 105. Yeah, 105. Alright, bro. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, bro. Mm -hmm. Steve, Steve, you know the last person you actually hooked me up with. The outcome of it wasn't pleasant at all. I never liked it. Look, Bella, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? The guy even deceived me too. I never knew he was broke. But you know what? This new guy I'm about to hook you up with, he is heavily loaded. Hmm? You like him? Steve, hmm? Steve, you know things are really, really hard. Things are very expensive now at this. Even dollars have added. I mean, come to think of it, do you know how much I buy a little for every single day? Do you? I mean, how much is this person paying me? Look, I don't know for sure, alright? But I want you to be fair on him, he's my guy, okay? Okay, so where did he lodge? I mean, which of the hotel is he? <laughs> Just give me a minute, all right? Okay. Um, everything is set, all right? Okay. So, 
He's waiting for us in the hotel. I'll take you there myself. Okay, let me take you there. Come in, let me drive you down there. <laughs> Bella, you know I don't roll like that. You have to pay me first. Steve, I have to pay you first. Come on, Steve. I would definitely pay you, but oh. as soon as I'm done with this deal. Oh, come on, you're not a new person to this game, all right? It's, it's, it's pay before service. You know these things now, don't stress me. I don't like stress. Come on. Steve, Steve, I will pay you your money. But Steve, if this person you are actually linking me up to is not legit, I would not take it lightly with you. I would not be happy. I mean, my body is not meant to be exposed anyhow to anybody. He's good, trust me. He's good. <sighs> yeah, just bring it. Have it. Why are we still here? Stop the engine. Thank you. And I must confess, you're looking exceptionally beautiful. Thank you. I love your dress too. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you, you actually drove down here. I don't understand. Like, you mean to say you have a car? Yeah. Oh, yes, I do. I mean, this is actually one of my cars, you know. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you just say this is one of your cars? Yes, one of my cars. Is there any problem with that? <laughs> no, 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 it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Oh. Um, actually, I wanted to ask if I'm actually spending the night here or for the weekend because I actually don't do short time. Yeah, yeah, of, of, of course, of course. For the night, yeah. Okay. Um, but if you work well, then we're going to work all through the weekend. <laughs> Definitely. What about that? You like me. Uh, yeah, it's just... Um, please, let me just make it go. Okay. Well, no problem. Back in the GP. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, Steve. See, what's, what's, what's wrong with you? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. I told you to bring. I told you to bring a wrong scare for me. Okay? You went and broke him Kadasha for me. Yeah. High class get the ass. Cars, not ca cars. Cars. An iPhone. That's an iPhone. Are you kidding? Are you mad? Don't 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 shake in the head. Are you bagging with him? Are you bagging with him? Come on, better. Better come inside. Better come and take care of this game. Oh, Chief. <laughs> Hello, Chief. Good afternoon, sir. Fine, Chief. Um, Chief, you know, the last time I actually visited you in Abuja, you actually paid for my first class flight, you know. And the money you sent to me is not really enough for the first flight class. Yes, Chief. Um, Chief, I wanted to ask you if I'm actually spending the night or for the weekend. Oh, weekend as usual. Okay, Chief. It's actually two million. Yes, Chief. Um, Chief, no, I can't go for 1.5 anymore. You know, things are really expensive nowadays. Yes, Chief. Unless you want us to make it for a night, and which is actually 800,000. 
Yes, Chief, 800K. Okay, Chief, I trust you. You know you're bigger than that. All right, Chief. Bye. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, it's actually one of my clients that called. Ah, uh, it's good, it's good. It's good. Yeah. It's good. <clears throat> so, yeah, are, you, are you okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah? yeah, I'm okay. I'm alright. Thank you. It's getting beautiful. You know, I. I will. Oh! What? Are you okay? No. Sir. I'll be fine. I'm just having a stomach upset. So. Jesus, still looking, still looking. Hey, you don't get up at night. Jesus Christ, see, look at me, two, two million. Wait, 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 me, I pay her eight to get up, but she not tell me that this is that, not tell me that that place. Now I can tell on a good man the inside. I will be little then give me Danga. Steve, you have to give me back my money. I mean, what's the meaning of this? You gave me to a sick man that nearly died in my hand. And what do you think people talk about me? That I've killed him. Is that your happiness? Look, Bella, how, how was I supposed to know that he was sick? How? Bella, you know I have a no refund policy. There is no way I can give you your money back. Worst come to worst, I'll connect you to another man, alright? <laughs> you must be choking. Do you hear me? You must be choking! Please, you give me back my money. Bella, <laughs> na, na me. You give me back my money. Bella, you actually hold There is no shame, no. There is no shame. Bella. You don't come over for ITT. You give me my money back. What do you mean? What do you mean? You have to pay me my money. Imagine the money you gave to me. Imagine you pay in my hand. I have no shame. No, you 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 I have no shame. What is going on over there? No sense. Hello, Steve. Hello. Good day. Good day. And who are you? Well, I am Detective Felix, and this is my colleague, Joanne. And we are here to ask you some questions. Because of your cousin, who was murdered. Who's shooting at us? There is someone who does not want us to catch Steve. Steve? I don't get it, but they were shooting at Steve as well. He was just, just trying to suppress us. Oh, what? I, I, I don't get it. I don't, this, this whole thing is not connecting. Where is it coming from? That was a mistake, alright? I'm going to. I bet I'm going to. I'm going to fix. I'm going to fix this, alright? Don't worry, trust me. Trust me. I'll fix it. Thank you. Someone doesn't want this case. Someone who feels that Steve 
Benson. You mean Mr. Benson and his wife? What if, like what if, he was hired to kill his cousin? Hired by who? By the same people that tries to stop us. What if the person was trying to kill Steve and not both of That could be possible too. Get me Mr. Benson. I need to pay someone an urgent visit. Mr. Jasper. I believe you're aware your neighbor's daughter was killed last night. She was murdered. While going through his phone records, we realized that you called him by 10 p.m. last night. You also called him by 5 p.m. and 3 p.m. yesterday. Your wife called the man by 3 p.m. as well. I'd like to know why. Um, detective, please can I speak with you in private? I called him by 3 p.m. But I only called to know if he was around. Um, how much is it out there? Twenty-five. Baby, which one do you want to go for? Let's go for the twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five k. You say how much again? Fifteen thousand. All right, that's not my problem. to see a friend. Why did you call him by 5 p.m.? 
and detective. I only wanted to know if they were still at the hotel. I was just monitoring them. That was all. I see. You also called him by 10 p.m. Why? That was because I saw his daughter and the cousin. So you called Mr. Benson to inform him that you saw his daughter and the cousin who happens to be a pimp. But you were not bothered that the same man was banging your wife in the hotel. What kind of man are you? Huh? Mr. Jasper, I think you killed Mr. Benson's daughter because you were angry he was sleeping with your wife and you want him to feel the pain that you're feeling. That is not true, detective. I didn't kill anyone. When did you find out that Mr. Benson was sleeping with your wife? That was, that was like a month ago. Then you did nothing? I don't have a job, detective. I was, I was afraid if I had confronted her that she might want a divorce. And if eventually that happens, it means I'm finished. The first time you found out that Mr. Benson was screwing your wife, you threatened the man, right? Did you threaten him or did you not? Yes, I did, detective. But that was because, that was because I was hungry. Every other man would have done that. I see. So obviously you were angry. You threatened the man because you were sleeping with your wife. You threatened to deal with him. And now his daughter is dead. This simply means you dealt with him by killing the daughter. It's obvious. Because you're angry that the man is sleeping with your wife, you obviously have a motive. Excuse me, detective. I didn't kill anyone here. In fact, at this point, I think I'm ready to call a lawyer. You're not under arrest yet, Mr. Jasper. At least not now. But do not leave town until this case is over. Questions are rising, suspicions are rising. Mr. Benson. Your fingerprints were found all over your daughter's body. Your hair found on her fingertips and your blood in the sink. Why? Detective, I don't remember anything. I was drunk last night, Anna. I hardly remember anything. I have every reason to believe you killed your daughter while you were under the influence of alcohol and you don't remember or you claim not to remember. Your nephew, why was he running? Who's after him? Who's trying to stop him from talking? Mr. Benson. trying to. You may go. Do you want? No. 
I need to speak to his wife. found a murder weapon, but we believe, we strongly believe, that we will get to the root of this. We will get the murderer. <sighs> My husband is not capable of killing someone. He can't even hurt a fly, even though he was drunk. I think so. I know so. Your husband's fingerprints were found all over your daughter's body. His hair on her fingernails and his blood in the sink in the bathroom was found there. What also beats me is his nephew's fingerprints were found all over the crime scene. Then we tried to question him. He started running. What if he's actually the one that murdered my daughter? <sighs> Maybe my husband was trying to save the situation. I'm just confused. I don't know what to say. Maybe he was trying to pimp my daughter to someone. But she refused and then he murdered her so that she won't tell me or anyone. What do you think? Officer, I don't know to bear this. <laughs> Take it easy. Everything will be fine. I assure you once again, we will get to the root of this. We will get the murderer. Questions are rising. Suspicions are rising. To fish out the culprit to the murder. It's a difficult case it's to crack case, uh, As everything is so complicated uh, hey, In different directions So many suspects Yeah So who is the murderer? Yeah. Hey, I, so many suspects Who I, is the culprit? Who is the killer? I so many suspects. Who is the culprit? Who is the murderer? Who is the murderer? Or is a technical murderer? Who is the killer?
Someone does not really want this case to be over. <laughs> or someone believes he kills their daughter and wants him dead. Are you saying that Juliet's parents must have plotted this? Hold on, do you know who killed my friend? Yes. Hold on. Hold on. What are you saying? Hold on. Or do you think the neighbor Jasper is the one doing all this? Why would he do that? You know, Steve was the only person that ran away when we questioned him about the death of Juliet. Hmm. You should not forget that Mr. Benson was very much angry and he's still very angry about the death of his daughter. These three persons are the only suspects. These three persons. You know what? Choose. Sir, what if Steve's death is not connected to this case? I mean, that boy was a gangster, a pimp. What if he was killed by another gang member? Why? What would be the emotion in the middle of an investigation? I don't think his death was gang related. I don't think so. Listen, I need to speak to Mrs. Benson. Get it done. Mrs. Benson, your husband's nephew was shot dead today. It should make you happy. That's if you haven't heard it before. What? What? Sh shot dead? Well, I'm angry that he might be the one that murdered my daughter, but trust me, I don't wish him that yet until he's proven guilty. Mrs. Benson, if you know anything about his death, I suggest you come clean. If you don't, it's against the law. It's called obstruction of justice. What are you saying? What are you even saying, officer? With all due respect, you were the one that was suggesting that it was my husband that murdered my daughter. So what are you saying now? Please, I do not know anything about that. Maybe your husband hired someone to kill him. He would not even there. Hmm. Yes. Do you know of anyone who would have won this case solved? I do not know. And please, whatever the case may be, do not pin it on my husband. describe your relationship with your boss, your madame, and the victim? Well, I am their house elf, and I've known them for a very long time. In fact, we are just like family. They take me as their own. Juliet was a very nice girl. She loved everyone in the house. Mr. Benson is a good man. He's very caring, just like his wife. But recently, the wife started acting very strange. Strange? Yes. 
without any. She shouts and quarrels over every little thing in the house, as if she's angry with everybody. I mean, she suddenly hates everyone in the house. What do you think prompted this behavior? I, I can't really say. She even told her husband she wants a divorce. A divorce? Yes, sir. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Very sure, sir. Why? Um, nothing more, sir. Yes. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me? Anything concerning this case? We'll be invited again for questioning. Please do not leave the country. And we will be arrested. That's it. Thank you, sir. Sign you through with her. Yes. For now, I want you to dig up stuff on her. All right. I believe she's lying. Dig. Find out anything there is to know about her. Okay, sir. Where are you going, Nancy? Officer, I'm sorry. I, I got a call that my mother is very sick and I need to go see her. Really? Is your boss or his wife aware that you're traveling? No. Officer, if I tell them, they, 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 they will not. They what? I was asked to bring you home. After you. Officer, please, I really need to go and see I my... said, I was asked to bring you in. You need to come with me to the office right now. So please now. Let's go. Go! I said go! Do you want me to apply for us? Why were you running? Why? How do I leave? My mother is sick. I want to go and see her. Really? So why didn't you tell me? You sat right here and I told you not to leave the country. I told you not to leave the state. Why were you running? What's in your bag? My, my clothes. Search the bag.
You and your boss, Mr. Benson. Are you lovers? Good day, Mother. I am Detective Sam. I would like to ask you a few questions about your daughter. Nancy. Yes, Nancy. I hope she's okay. She's fine. Yeah. You don't know her. Sit down. Thank you very much. Madam, when was the last time you saw your daughter? Mm, it's been long ago. How long? After she gave birth to her baby, a young man came and kicked her off that he wanted her to work with her. With him. And so then, I don't see her. She left with her baby. A man came and picked her up. Yes, please the man. Right. When did this happen? Mm, like about 10 years ago. Mm. 10 years Since ago. then, I've not seen Nancy. Really? Though we talk on phone and uh, she normally send me money too. I see. When was the last time you spoke to her? Mm, like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. There is no problem. The questions are getting too much. <laughs> Have you seen your daughter recently? Did you did you call her telling her you're sick and you want her to come see you? Sick? No. No. I see. Well, madam, your daughter is fine. Seeing you right now, I'm sure you are fine. I'll tell your daughter. Okay. Yeah. Um, please, what about her daughter? Hope she's okay. I know nothing about her daughter. Mm. But your daughter is fine. Thank you very much for your cooperation, oh, madam. Safe journey. I saw your mother today. She's fine. She's not sick. And she didn't ask you to come. She hasn't spoken to you in two weeks. So I ask again. Where were you running to? And why? Why? I was only trying to get away from this problem. I am tired. I have nothing left. Not an officer. Hmm. Did you kill Juliet? No, I didn't kill her. I did not kill her. What's your relationship with Mr. Vince? You think, you don't, don't stand on me. You're thinking, you're thinking. You're thinking, right? You're thinking. 
What is the suggestion? What do you bring suggestion out? It's like I think for feeling like Oh shit. Big as you are, you allow yourself to get pregnant. Eh? You missed everything. I was doing it little, little. Oh shit. Let's get her put me in trouble. You know, okay, you know, you know what's gonna happen, right? Okay. Um, see, I don't want to abort the baby. Eh? Okay. You pack your things right now. Move to your mom's place. Eh? I'm gonna give you some money that is gonna take care of you and take care of the baby. Do you understand? Don't let anyone know something about this. Do you understand? Okay, sir. But how? What, what, what? what? What do I tell, madam? How will I convince her that I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, leaving? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Come down, come here. You should think. I'm the one that brings the first solution. Think also. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what will you tell her? Uh, um, you know what's gonna happen? Shit. This guy, you'll break my marriage. Sorry. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 you see this, man? Okay. Tell my young guy, your mom, she's sick. And you need to go and take care of her. Okay. Oh, for how long? You are still asking me for how long again? Yes, because this is pregnant. It's going to take a long Don't time. Don't worry about that. I will take care of everything. Okay. Back up this. Move, move, Back up this. Go. Get yourself right. Oh, shit. This girl. Oh, shit. You have spoiled my marriage. Hmm. Wow. Nice plan. So you left and had the child. Mr. Benson convinced the wife that they needed to adopt a child. So they adopted your child, which happens to be his child. He then came back and hired you to come take care of the child. Simply means that Juliet was your child. Yes. Sorry for your loss. Now I know why you say you have nothing left. Do you think Eunice found out about you, Juliet, and Benson? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she did. Which is why she filed for a divorce. If you say don't know, all I know is that someone killed my daughter. They killed my daughter. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to go back to the house. I also don't want you to leave town. Do you have any other place you can stay? I would just stay in the hotel. Alright then. I'll keep in touch. Okay, sir. Mr. Benson. So? I've gathered a couple of facts. I want you to tell me the truth. Nothing but the truth. It will help me to find the person that killed your child. The truth. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth. Where are you staying at the moment? A hotel. Does anyone know? No, no. The person? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Your wife? No, sir. 
Nancy? No, no. You sure? Yes, sir. All right. So, keep it that way. All right, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Nobody should know where you are. Except you. All right, sir. Mr. Benson. Mm -hmm. I know about your affair with Nancy. I know that Juliet was your child. I know that your wife filed for a divorce recently. So here's my question. Did your wife know about your affair with Nancy? Did she know that Juliet was your child? Detective, I was even surprised when she started acting strange at home. I suspected it was stress of work. I, I don't know what goes wrong. I don't know. Everything is wrong, sir. I don't know. You promised to tell me the truth, remember? Yes, sir. Nothing but the truth. I'd like you to go back to your hotel. Stay there. Alone. Yes. And keep your phone close to you. Yes. I'll call you when I'm coming. Yes. Thank you, sir. Questions arising. Suspicions are right to fish out the culprit to the murder. It's a difficult case to cry. As everything is so complicated in different directions, so many suspects. Yeah, so who is the murderer? Yeah. So many suspects, who I, is the culprit? Who is the killer? Who is the I, so many suspects, who is the culprit? Who is the murderer? Who is the murderer? So Are you not aware? Maybe when I went to buy bread. Maybe when you went to buy bread. Are you not a fool? Just listen to yourself. It's obvious you don't know your job. That's why someone came in here and killed Juliet and ran away. So you don't, so you don't know your madame is not in this house. Questions arising. It's the big fool. Suspicions arise. To the culprit, to the murder. It's a difficult case to cry. As everything is so complicated. In different directions. Whoever that did this must be a husband. Any idea who this could be? I don't want to guess. This is so complicated. This is so complicated. Call the forensics to take care of this. Check out this list. Sorry. 
What was that? I mean the smell. It's formaldehyde. So what is for formaldehyde? Formaldehyde. It's a chemical used to preserve dead bodies in mortuary. That's serious. Such sort of chemical. Who could have access to such strong chemical? Doctors. Doctors? And Eunice is a doctor, right? Your name is Francis. Oh, yes. Benson. Why is Mrs. Benson calling Felix? I don't know. Answer it. So it has dropped. Sir. Mrs. Benson. So please, I need to take this call. Thank you. I'm sorry, it's pressing. Hello, what's up? Have you booked me? Why? Why Why are you taking time? Please, I don't have time. You just have to be fast about it. Be fast! Okay. Tell him to come to my hotel room. I'll give him some money. Alright, thank you. Yeah, hello. Where are you? Okay, come to my hotel this minute. I believe you know my room number, right? Okay, I'll be expecting you. Please be fast about it. Thank you. What is the new development? We are working on your husband's case now. What do you mean by you're working on my husband's case? Wait, you mean to tell me you didn't do it? Do what? Your husband was found dead in his hotel room. I thought you did it. I mean, he had it coming, yes. So what are you going to do now? I'm leaving the city tonight. Every necessary arrangement has been made. You're leaving the city tonight? What about my money? That's no problem. I'll just make a transfer. Done. Okay. Confirmed. You know what, I just, I'm just going to go now, right? You take care of yourself. Hey, you know I trust you, right? 
I do. And you know I got your back. I'm just gonna take my leave. Be good. Take my leave now. to remain silent for whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Buffer. I give it up to you, Mrs. Benson. You're smart. You tried. Brilliant work. But believe me, you're not that smart. And I'll tell you why. You discovered Nancy's closeness with your husband. You were not comfortable with that. So you decided to do something about it. Nancy's closeness with Juliet also gave you concern. Being a doctor, it was easy for you to get answers to your questions. So what did you do? You decided to run a DNA test. <laughs> okay, so take me more. Okay. Do you know this guy to go to the strike?
DNA test, you discover that Nancy is the mother of Juliet. Of course, you were heartbroken. You felt so bad that your husband had cheated on you. And he did it with your house girl while she was living with you. And then he sent her away, sent her back in so you would not find out. And then she gave birth. He came to you again, saying that since both of you cannot give birth to a child, it's better you adopt one. So he went behind your back, adopted Juliet, and brought her home as your child. Also brought Nancy to take care of Juliet. And then you found out. You were pissed. You were heartbroken. You couldn't take it. And you filed for a divorce. I said that I want a divorce. What are you saying? I want a divorce. You just want to divorce without any reason. I want a divorce and you must divorce me. If you do not want to do what I ask you to do, then you will leave me with no choice than to ask my lawyer to prepare the divorce papers and you must sign it. Rubbish. Okay now. Okay, go and fine. Eh? Bring it, let me sign it. Bring it. Go and fine. Bring it, let me sign it. Rubbish. Divorce. Go to divorce. Divorce. Like I said before, madam, correct me if I'm wrong. Juliet was murdered at night and you came back to your house the next morning, right? Bullshit. That's all a big lie. Let me tell you exactly what happened. You came back at about 5 p.m. and checked into a hotel. And then at night, you sneaked into your house knowing fully well that you have a very useless gig man. Or for some other reason. Now tell me. Eunice, why did you return to your house that night?
use my theory wrong? I would want to speak to my lawyer. But I'm not done, Eunice. Your husband, Mr. Benson, was staying in a hotel because of the investigation. You told him you wanted to see him. You told him you wanted to bring the divorce paper to him to sign. You got there and you murdered him. Yes? Who's there? Yes, who's there? So, this is what you want. Okay, good, I'm fine. This is what you want. I will sign it. What you want? You want me to say to sign it? Eh? The investigation is going on. Can't you wait? Why? 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 You want me? Oh, what is my part? I'm, I'm, I'm going to sign it. This is what you want. I will sign it for you. I will sign it. What is what? My diary. I will sign it. This is what you, all you want. You want? You want? You want to leave? I will go. Go. I don't need you. I don't need. You killed your husband because he fooled you. You also made a plan to kill Steve, Juliet's cousin, because we told you we found his fingerprints at the crime scene. What? I, I, I did not murder Steve. I did I know. Because Steve is still alive. <laughs> Are you surprised? You thought Felix was working for you? You must be a big fool. Everything you ever told Felix, everything, the offer you made to him, he told me. Yes, everything about Steve's attempted murder was staged by us. Bring him in. We staged it so that whoever killed Juliet will think that the case will go out with Steve's death. You killed my cousin. You will rot in jail. Steve told us why his fingerprints were the house.
Uncle? Wake up, John. What are you doing in my room? Oh. Oh. Don't you ask me. Why? Then please go to your room. This is my room. Uh, what do you want? Uh, go to your room. Suspicions are rising to fish out the culprit to the murder. It's a difficult case to crack. As everything is so complicated in different directions, so many suspects. Yeah, so who is the murderer? So many suspects who I, is the Who is the killer? I, so many suspects who is the culprit? Who is the murderer? Who is the murderer? Who is the murderer? Who is the technical murderer? Who is the killer? Who is the killer? So many suspects who is the culprit? Questions are rising, suspicions are rising to fish out the culprit to the murder. It's a 
difficult case to That's cry. Difficult case, uh, As everything is so complicated. Uh, hey, in different directions, so many suspects. Yeah. So who is the murderer? Yeah. Hey, so many suspects. Who I, is the culprit? Who is the killer? I, so many suspects. Who is the culprit? Who is the murderer? Who is the murderer? Who is the murderer? Who is the killer? Who is the murderer? Who is the killer?